Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the amazing choose colors function with other functions such as the let, filter, sum, htag and the vstack functions to create a dynamic report. So let's get started. Now this is the final output. In this output, you can see we use the filter function which returned all the unique products that equals to HP laptop. And at the bottom here, we have different metrics such as the count of unique payment type in column J coming from column C. And of course, we can see the sum of the quantity, price, and total. So let's write this formula and achieve the same result. So I'm going to come to the exercise sheet. Now we have the same data set and this data set is officially stored as an Excel table. So we can see the table design contextual at the bottom. Now the table name is data set. Also in cell P1, I have drop down list data validation. So I can actually choose different products such as furniture, Lexus car, smart TV, and so on and so forth. So let's write the formula and make sense of it. So I'm going to come to cell H2. All right. So I'm going to start by typing equal sign the let function. Now I have so many videos on the let functions. You can actually check my channel and learn more about this amazing function called the let. So I'm going to press the tab key. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a name and then assign value to the name. And ultimately, we're going to create our calculation. So for the name one, now I'm going to put this P1 in this list. So I'm going to call it criteria. Now you can actually choose whatever name you want within your let function. So I'm going to press the tab, comma. So for the value that I want to assign to, I'm going to click on P1, comma. So for the name two, I'm going to call this one formula. Comma. So for the value that I want to assign to the formula, I'm going to use the filter dynamic array function. So press the tab key. So for the array argument of the filter function, I'm going to give this entire data set a single shot and that will give me the name of the table, which is data set, put in a comma. So for the include argument, so I'm going to throw in the amazing choose calls function because we need that to go through the entire formula and return the accurate result. So for the include argument, I'm going to type in the choose calls. Now the choose calls returns columns from an array of reference. So I'm going to press the tab key. So the first argument of the choose calls is the array because it's one of the array functions in Excel. So I'm going to give the entire data set again, data set, press the tab key, comma. So for the call number one, now I want single column. So just type in one, I'm going to close the choose calls and then we are back to the include argument of the let function. And when I grab this, you can see this smart stuff. We can see what is inside this section here that's amazing so i'm going to check whether this is equal to the criteria which is the value itself p1 so i'm going to type in criteria then i can close the filter formula for now comma so i'm going to alt enter to make the formula smart and readable so for the name three now what i'm going to do next is this is um column one column two three four five six so let's deal with the third column don't forget this is the third column so i'm going to call this one um count of unique pt because this is the payment type so that's the third column so i'm going to just give pt as payment type so come on so for the value that i want to assign i'm going to use the count a function press the tab key and inside the count a, I need the dynamic array unique function. And of course, inside the unique, I need the choose calls function, okay? Now you can see that we are using the choose calls function again and again, and that's why it's such an amazing function. Now inside the array, I'm gonna give the formula that we defined there, which houses the dynamic array filter formula within the let function so i'm going to call this one um, formula so comma now for the column number now i want to access the third column so i'm going to just 
type in three, close the bracket three times. Now the first bracket closes for the two scores, the second one for the unique, and the third one, which is the red, is for the count a function. So comma, I'm gonna alt enter. Now let's deal with the fourth column, which is the quantity. So again, I'm gonna use the sum of QTY that is sum of quantity comma now for the value that I want to assign I'm going to use the sum aggregate function and I want to use the choose calls choose calls function again now inside the choose calls I want to access the same formula here so I'm going to type in formula and comma so for the call number one now we are dealing with the fourth column so I'm going to type in four here and close the choose calls and the sum function comma alt enter now let's deal with the fifth column which is the price so again sum of price comma now i'm going to use the sum function choose calls and i'm going to type in the formula comma five close twice comma alt enter now finally let's deal with the sum of total so i'm going to call this on sum of two that's the name sum of total Put in a comma again, sum function, choose calls, and I want to see the formula that we define, comma, then specify the call number one, which is the sixth column. Close it twice, comma, alt, enter. Now, we have undo all this, which is pretty fine. So the next thing we want to do is to um, use the h stack function to undo the bottom row so i'm going to type in now in this case i need a name also i'm going to type in h stack as a variable name comma so the formula that is the value rather that i'm going to assign is going to be h stack function and inside the h stack for the array one that's going to be the column one that is the product array two is going to be the date and the three is going to be the column and payment type and so on and so forth so for the array one, which is under the product, I'm going to dump in inside double quote totals. So totals, close the double quote, comma. So for the array number two, I want nothing. Nothing simply means double quote with space in between, comma. Now for the array three, which is the payment type. Now don't forget, we have you know defined count of unique pt here so in here i'm just going to copy this name control c and carefully come here control v to paste comma so for the array number four which is the quantity column here now we have defined you know a name here which is the sum of quantity and this is the formula we assign i'm going to copy this control c control v comma so for the array five that's going to be the sum of price control v Finally, for the array number six, sum of um, total, then I can close the h stack formula, comma, alt, enter for the final time. Now, this is going to be our final calculation. So, for the calculation, I'm going to use the h stack function because I want to vertically stack all that I've been building from inside it. Now, the first thing we built is the formula here which we use the h stack function so that's going to be at the top and the second one is going to be this h stack here the total rows okay so for the array one of the v stack i'm going to grab this Control c and Control v comma so for the array number two i want to put this at the bottom okay Control v and i can close the v stack i can close the let formula all things being equal it's going to return accurate results now let's commit this into the cell by pressing the usual control enter so control enter amazing you can see it returned the accurate result we can see all the products that equals to hp laptop we can see all the transaction records and of course when i press control down arrow key we can see the count of unique payment time we have five unique payment type and of course we can see the quantity now. all right so we can see the sum of quantity is 1298 the sum of price is 12480 and the sum of total is 772 
171. Now when I come here and I change to let's say um smart TV, you can see the formula dynamically updates. That is amazing. So you can see the product equals to smart TV. So when I come down at the bottom, we can see again we have this five unique payment type, and of course the quantity has changed, and we can see the price. The sum of price is now thirty three thousand five eight five, and the sum of total is now one million six thirteen thousand seven five six. Now let me change to let's say smart tv and i go up here we can see we have only few records amazing so we can see this is the sum of quantity the sum of price and the sum of total so this is basically how we can use the choose cause function now if you come to the top cell here you discover that we use the choose cause function severally in order to be able to access the column within our formula so this is how powerful how useful the choose cause function is in excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and subscribe to this channel because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers